Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Stacy Scott, and I'm here with Graham Wickham, President and CEO of Wickham Financial and Insurance Services. And it's time again for our weekly wrap up. Graham, what do you have for us this week? Yeah, thank you, Stacy. Uh, looks like uh, we had another wild week, right? I mean, pretty challenging on the indices uh, in general, uh, even though we got a very good rally on Friday uh, to close out the week. We still saw um, U.S. equity or the indices like the S&P or the Russell down about three to two and a half percent, NASDAQ down about three percent. So we still had a, a pretty down week. Uh, the one reprieve that we got, we saw yields kind of back off on the 10 year, uh, which helped those uh, more growth oriented, maybe uh, profit oriented that's dated in the future. Uh, high growth areas kind of rally. That's why we saw a, a pretty good uplift on Friday, maybe some short covering, because we have very strong pessimism out there, meaning we have pessimistic numbers that are dating back to 2011 for the consumer. Now, we did see maybe the small business uh, optimism numbers maybe rise a little bit, but still very pessimistic, um, you know, kind of year over year. Uh, from that standpoint. Uh, another thing that we did see last week is that OPEC came out um, in reference to inflation, because uh, inflation is still stubbornly high at 8.3 percent. We did not see that top out like we were hoping. Might be still a little bit early for that call, uh, but we didn't see them in this uh, last week's numbers. But OPEC came out and lowered their oil demand, basically because of continued COVID shutdowns in China, uh, as well as maybe just, you know, the consumer pulling back a bit um, because of all the different areas that were being hit with inflation, from groceries to gas to travel, so on and so forth. Uh, so we really saw a pause from that standpoint. Well, have there been any um, changes since last week that might prompt investors uh, to change up what they're doing? No, I really don't. I mean, unfortunately, we're we're in that malaise, right? We're about to go into the summertime. Uh, the market is very driven on headlines right now uh, from the Fed. What are they going to do? How quick are they going to do it in terms of rising rates? Uh, what are growth numbers? We're finishing earnings season right now. Uh, still saw about uh, seven, eight percent earnings growth. Uh, so that's actually still pretty good, but a far cry from earnings growth of 47 percent that we saw what last year during the pandemic, uh, the height of it. So uh, we've got some moderating earnings. I don't think anyone should change their plan and strategy. But as we've always said, listen, if you have a project, if you're drawing money from your account to live off of, your time horizon is short, six months, one year. Hey, listen, I don't know if the market is going to be your friend right now. I think it's going to sit down here. It's going to churn. It could go a bit lower before we go higher. So I want you to be very conservative with those type of dollars. But your long dated, your time horizon is out three, five, 10, 20, 30 years. You know, I think that's a different perspective. And I think uh, this will be a blip. There will be something else that we're going to be concerned about uh, down the road. But, uh, you know, I think right now we're in the middle of the grind. Uh, and it doesn't mean we can't grind lower before we set a base and start building off of that. Okay. We know there's been a lot of chatter about some inflation and recession fears. What are your thoughts on that? Well, obviously, inflation is is right on. I mean, it wasn't transitory, as we've been saying. It's sticky when wages go up. You know, it's not easy to bring those down, but we are seeing those moderate a bit. Uh, we expect to see those in the economic numbers, at least reported from the Fed, uh, in terms of maybe hopefully inflation topping out a little bit. But a recession, you know what? We've had 12 recessions since World War II. And think about this. The average return for the S&P over that period is a positive 2%. Now, that doesn't mean that these markets cannot go down further because we're seeing real earnings deterioration, and that's all going to be predicated on that. If cor corporations can hold earnings up because demand's there, then I think we could have a light recession and kind of cruise through and kind of hit some of those average numbers. But if earnings really fall off the cliff, consumers really pull back, so on and so forth, we could be seeing a protracted recession. The average recession since 1857 averages about 17 months. Uh, the more modern era of recessions is probably about 15 months. 
Um, so we got the NASDAQ down 30% at one point, S&P down 20%, Dow down 15%. So we're hitting some correction areas, which means we could get a little more pain before we start basing, building a base to rally off of. But do not, do not expect a big turn in this market. We might have short-term rallies, uh, which I would view as opportunities to lighten up on risk and continue to put quality in your portfolio uh, as needed. It's not the time to take a tremendous amount of risk in this market. It's not allowing you to do so. Okay. Let me ask you this. Yep. Does this market present any opportunities to buy? Absolutely. Absolutely. Think about this. A lot of what we're talking about, and I know we talk and it just seems like it's negative, negative, negative. But think about this. This could be generational opportunities to buy great companies at discounted prices. And you got to think about it. if your time horizon as you're going to need money, how long you're going to live for a project is more than two, three, five, 10, 20, 30 years out, look for great quality companies at discounted prices. You're seeing a lot of the FANG stocks down 20 plus percent from Microsoft to Apple uh, to Facebook, now Meta, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, and those aren't recommendations for them, but you got great quality American companies that are down a lot. You have other sides of the market that are 50 and 90% little bit more of a question mark on that side of the market yeah. but again there's great companies that you could buy maybe average into them as long as it meets your goals and objectives and your time horizon and risk tolerance can handle it but i think there are opportunities today you just have to be a bit more selective okay well thank you so much for that information and thank you to all of our viewers for tuning in this afternoon for and every Monday for our weekly wrap up. And you know, I wanna take this opportunity just to remind you that of course we are always here for you and uh, always happy to, to take your call. But especially during times like this, when you might have questions or concerns about your specific account, don't hesitate to pick up the phone and or send an email and we're happy to talk you through and answer any questions you may have. So, okay. Well, everyone, thanks so much. And we will see you next week. Enjoy your week. We'll see you next week on our weekly wrap up. Have Take a great care. day.